Hey guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial I'll show you how to set up the Wix business email. I will also show you how to set up your mailbox after purchasing the business email. So with that being said, let's get right into it. First of all, you need to make sure that your website has Wix Premium. If you do not have Wix Premium yet, please watch the video in the top right corner and come back to this video after. So if your website has Wix Premium, all you need to do is to go over to select and edit site and you'll then be sent over to your Wix dashboard. And now you can either go over to the search bar and search for email and then click on business email or you're going to go over to settings and then go over to business email. So what you need to do is simply go over to let's start and then enter the name of your email address. Now my connected domain is at Lucas and tutorials. So I'll just do support, but anything works really. You can also add another user, like for example, info at lucasandtutorials.com. And once you've added all the email addresses you'd like to set up, simply hit continue. To set up your business email costs seven euros a month per user. So select the plan, you can either pay yearly and save 13% or pay monthly. I'll go with monthly since I don't actually will be using this email long term. So just click on continue to check out and then enter your payment details. If you don't want to use your saved payment method, simply go over to other payment methods and enter either your credit card details or your PayPal information. Also make sure to enter the invoice details. And once you've selected the correct payment method, click on continue to PayPal or pay with credit card, depending on what payment method you chose. Congratulations, you have a new business email and online workspace. So the next thing you're gonna do is to set up your account. You'll then be sent over to manage.wix.com and you'll once again be sent over to the business email page. Now, if for whatever reason you got lost, simply go over to settings again, click on business email, and you'll now be on the correct page in order to set up your Wix business email. So Wix works with Google Workspace. You can see that I've got one user already, and that's all I need. So just click on set up user. The administrator of your Google Workspace business email account will be assigned to this email address which will also be used by Google to verify ownership of your domain. The admin user needs to be set up before you can set up other users for this account. So I'll enter my name and create a password. Just make sure to enter all your information honestly and correctly. As for the admin contact info, make sure to use an email address that's not your domain email. So for example, your own personal Gmail account. You can then also add the company or organization name, your country and your postal code. And once you've done that, click on submit. And you can now see that a user was set up and it may take up to 10 minutes to see it on the user table below. A few minutes have passed and now my user account shows up. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and accept the Google Terms of Service to activate our business email subscription. So click go to Google. Now enter your custom domain email address to go over to the admin console and click on next. And you'll then be sent over to this page. Welcome to your new account. Just read all of it or as most of us would do, scroll to the bottom and click on I understand. Once again, enter your password. You'll then be sent over to the Google admin terms of service and you'll have to accept terms of service. And here we are. We're now sent over to the admin.google.com website. So now we can go back over to the Wix website and refresh the page. And now the error message is gone, which means we're good to go. Now the question you probably have is where are you going to receive your emails? If someone sends an email to info at lucasandtutorials.com, where is the email going to be headed to? The answer is to your Gmail account. Now it's not going to be your normal Gmail account, but what we've just set up is that now when you go over to your Google accounts, you can scroll down and click on your custom domain name email address. To prove that it is working, I'll send myself an email. You can see that the email has been sent. And if you go over to send, you can also see that we just sent this email to my own email address. It's both in the send and the inbox, which means the email is now working. And that's how to set up your business email address with your own domain on your Wix website. Now, if this tutorial was helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment telling me it worked. And if you do have any questions at all, feel free to ask them in the comments down below as well. And lastly, thank you for watching and have a great day.